Buddha, the very first realization he had was life is all suffering. And this is where Buddha is different from many other masters. Buddha is reflecting the teachings, the message of Upanishad. To see suffering as suffering, acknowledge it. Don't change the name. Don't put a label, it's a challenge. This is a beautiful word now, but it has been raped, the word. Everything is a challenge, you know. If you speak to the motivators, everything, don't call this problem. This is not a problem. This is not trouble. This is a challenge. Buddha says no. Don't put any capsule. Don't, 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 don't use any, any mask. Don't, don't sugarcoat it. Suffering is suffering. First of all, he says, you must realize that this life is suffering. Somebody is suffering in a penthouse, somebody is suffering on the street. The difference is just the place. People are suffering. Those living in the penthouse are suffering. Everybody is suffering. So there is no such thing as someone who is really, really happy. Only that statue there, Maitreya there in the garden, you know, he is always happy, always laughing. I have never seen a person who is 100% happy. We can hallucinate. I can be listening to many motivators and I can hypnotize myself, mesmerize myself to believe that I am happy. But I am not. I am not. The very fact that I am trying to hypnotize myself, I am trying to uh, repeat the affirmation, I am happy, I am happy, I am happy, I am happy, means I am not happy. So Buddha says, instead of doing that, realize life is suffering. Once you realize life is suffering, then Buddha says, you have to find out why should you be suffering? What is the cause of the suffering? And is there a way to end the suffering? If there is a way, what is the way? So these are the four noble truths. Acknowledge suffering as suffering. Find out the reason. Is there a way to end it? Yes. If yes, how?